morning, you guys. You know, sometimes that same old sandwich for lunch can get a little bit boring. So why not change things up and do a great pasta salad? This one's my husband Bob's all-time favorite. It's a tuna pasta salad, just a few ingredients, and it's just yummy. Okay, it starts out with one box of cooked medium shell pasta. Don't overcook your pasta, especially when it comes to doing a pasta salad, because then those noodles just get real mushy, and we don't want that. So cook that pasta al dente. Then we have two cans of drained tuna. I like to use the white albacore tuna that's packed in water. Drain it really well. This is something I'll make on a Sunday, and then Bob has it for lunch during the week. I just pack it up in a container for him, and he absolutely loves it. Sometimes, too, on a real, you know, a night you don't feel like cooking, or if it's a real hot night, this just hits the spot for dinner. All right, now I've got a little bit of very, very finely diced onion. Almost mince it up. This happens to be Vidalia onion. Um, just a, you know, few tablespoons of that. Maybe a quarter cup if you like it a little more oniony. Bob's not a big fan of onion. I like the flavor of it, so it's kind of my way to sneak it in there. Then I've got, I like to use a bunch of celery. A cup and a half of finely diced celery, just for that nice, delicious crunch. And then just because I think of, you know, my mom's tuna noodle casserole and it always had peas in it. So I like to put um, maybe a cup, cup and a half of, these are just frozen peas. You don't need to cook them. We just let them thaw a little bit. And it really is nice in this pasta salad. All right, now we've got some mayonnaise. Now, whenever I'm doing a, um, you know, a salad like this, I start with a little, maybe a couple of cups, and if you need more, you can always add more. If you put too much in at the beginning, you can't really get it out. So just toss it around. And then if you're making this the day ahead, always check to see if it gets a little dried out. Sometimes the pasta tends to really soak up the dressing. And so do that mayo test. Give it a little quick bite and see if you maybe need to add a little bit more mayo or salt and pepper just to kind of bring it back to life. Speaking of salt and pepper, now throw a little bit of this in here. A little bit of salt. And the last thing I'm going to throw in here is I love uh, fresh dill with seafood. So the recipe calls for about a quarter of a cup. I'm just going to use my kitchen shears. I always put a little fresh dill in my tuna salad sandwich. And so it really works nicely in this salad too. It just kind of freshens it up. And that's it. it. This is the easiest recipe and just so delicious. Everyone loves it. Great even for a ladies' luncheon. Cover and chill it just so the flavors really get in here. And this will last in your fridge covered for three to four days. Like I say, it makes just a great different lunch. Or even a nice light dinner. There you go. It's Bob's favorite and actually... To be honest, one of mine too. It's my tuna pasta salad. Maybe garnish with a little fresh dill. Recipes on our website.